Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you're creating or editing a macro in Design View, you may be a bit intimidated by the array of actions that a macro can perform. Many are very simple once you get used to them. A typical action would be one like Open Query which opens a query in either design or datasheet view depending on how you set the action's arguments. More complex command actions may only be used in programming modules. A macro can use up to 999 actions, and you place the actions in the separate rows of the macro design grid from the top line down. What we'll look at now are what the different actions can do. So we have the Add Menu action, which adds a drop-down menu item to a custom menu bar. Apply Filter, which applies a filter or query to restrict or sort records in a data source. Beep, which sounds a tone through the computer, it basically beeps at the user. Cancel Event cancels the action that started the macro. Close closes any open or selected objects. Copy Database File allows you to copy the database file of the current database. Copy Object allows you to copy a specified object within the database to a new location or with a different name. Delete Object deletes a specified object. Echo specifies whether or not the screen is to be updated while the macro is running, and you might use that if information in the screen is changing, like in a form. Find Next locates the next record that matches specified criteria. Find Record locates the first record following the current one that matches specified criteria. Go to Control activates a specified control. Go to Page activates the first control on a page. Go to Record allows us to jump to a particular record. Hourglass changes the mouse pointer to an hourglass while the macro is running. Maximize maximizes a selected window. Minimizes minimizes a selected window. Move size moves, moves and or resizes the active window. Message box displays a message box with a header and any custom text you'd like it to display. Open data access page allows you to open a data access page. Open diagram, open a diagram of course. Open Form opens a specified form. Open Function allowing us to open a function. Open Module to open a module. Open Query. Open Report. Open Stored Procedure. Open Table. Open View. Output To which allows us to output a selected object to Excel, rich text format, or just a text file. Printout prints out the selected object. Quit quits access. Rename renames specified database. Repaint object allows you to refresh form fields when data changes. Requery updates data in a selected control or updates itself if no control is specified. Restore restores a maximized or minimized window to its previous size. Run App runs any application from Access as long as you can know where it's at in your system and find the executable. Run Code runs Access Code. Run Command performs a menu command like copy or cut or paste. Run Macro runs a macro. Run SQL runs a SQL statement. Save just saves the specified object or saves itself if no other object is available. Select Object selects an object as the focus. Send Keys allows you to send keystrokes that you've programmed into the macro to access or any active Windows application. Send Object will allow you to include a specified object to be sent in an email. Set Menu Item sets the appearance of a command within a custom menu. Set Value sets the value for a specified control on a form or a report. Set Warnings allows you to turn system messages on or off, and those would be the messages that 
you might see if you were running, say, action queries. So if you had a macro that allowed you to um, append data into a table, you'll get a system message when you run the query telling you you're about to append X number of records. If you didn't want to see that, because that requires user intervention at that time, you can set warnings off at the beginning of the macro so that it can do things like append and delete without having to pop those boxes up. And then as the last step, you could set the warnings back on. Show all records removes filters from the selected object. Show toolbar displays or hides a selected toolbar. Stop all macros stops all currently running macros. Stop macros stops a specific macro. Transfer database imports or exports data between access and another database. Transfer spreadsheet allows you to import or export data between access and a spreadsheet file. Transfer SQL Database allows you to transfer SQL Database. And Transfer Text allows you to import or export data between access and a text file. And those are the different actions that we have. And once again, you would select an action, and then you next have to fill in any action arguments, and each one may require different settings. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.